Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you enjoyed that first little segment um, of me getting this. That was cool. I did it in one of my other videos, I think, when I was unboxing some LED lights, something like that. But, um, yeah, as you see in front of me, I had the Elite Series 2. Now, this came out November 4th, and today's the 6th, though. I'm a couple days late on unboxing this. But it's alright, because I got one, it was one day shipping, I didn't know where else to get it, probably Best Buy, I could have gotten it there maybe the day of the release, but anyway, it's here, we have it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing it after I show you guys the box, the contents, all that good stuff on the outside. So first on the, um, front, we have the picture, uh, we have the picture of the controller, Elite Series 2, Xbox has a little dent right here. I don't know, that's probably just from shipping something on the side. Comes with controller, accessories, case, charging dock. Um, this is tension screw, another accessory I'll show you guys. And USB-C cable instead of regular micro USB, which was used on the first Elite controller on the back. Optimized for you, limitless customization, all that stuff. Same thing on this side. So let's go ahead and open it up. I already cut that side. If I can get this one. I'm going to get a drum roll. Beautiful. Just like, looks exactly like how the um, first box is. It's formed shaped basically like just like this. This is a little bit heavier, I think. Yeah, this is a little heavier. Probably because it has some more stuff in it. Has the um, charging box. Let's see what's under here. We got a cable. I think this is the USB C cable. Comes with it. Yes, it is. The Xbox logo on there USB C to USB. Put that to the side. We got some probably instructions. Quick start, all that. Here we've got. This, this shows you how to pair it, all that. Uh, this is warranty, product regulation, stuff like that. And Xbox... I read this and immediately saw what it was. I'm so sorry, okay. Xbox Game Pass, um, I don't know how long. I'm probably gonna blur this anyway. 14 day free trial, it has the code on it, that's why I'm covering it up. Anyway, so that is all that's in this box. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this back. Go. Put this back in there. Now we can get into what everybody came here to see. I don't know why I had so much difficulty putting that back in. Anyway, here's the controller. Alright, unzip it. Same case as the original Xbox Elite. I think I already said that. But here it is. Beautiful. Let me get the shine that light on there. Hold on. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna. Should I wipe my hands off? I don't know. So. Beautiful. Alright. Oh, already has paddles on that... Is it light up? Is it lit up? No, it's not. Okay, that's silver. Wow, first impressions? What? First impressions, this is so cool. You can see the grips on the front. I'll get into all that later. The D-pad. Everything feels so, so smooth, so clean. The paddles, the paddles are a little bit shorter, which is like that. So let's go ahead and look in the accessories. I don't know if I should, do I peel this off or does this just, well yeah, it's covering up the, um, I don't know if, hold on. I don't know if you're supposed to peel, okay, yeah, you are, it's a little sticky. Okay, so this is just protecting it because you have to expose the charging part. Um, in the back of the case here, I should have showed this before I unboxed it, but it has a little port right here if you flip up this tag part where you plug in your USB-C cable right to the back of that and you can actually use the case to charge it. So I'll show you guys that in a second. But yeah, this feature is really cool because on the last one, uh, use AA batteries or you could uh, have your controller wired for less latency. But um, with this, this is really cool. So when you're done using it, just put it on the dock and leave instead of having to place batteries, stuff like that. So um, the brand new thing with this controller is the, oh, what is it called? Joystick tension screw. So what this screw is for is tightening up your joystick so that they feel it's maybe not as easy to move or it is really easy to move. So basically, so the regular magnetic joysticks, joy, I can't exactly think of what to call those. Um, and then underneath we have a little screw part, maybe I should zoom in on that, I don't know. Um, where you can put the screw in and tighten it either left or right. And you'll feel once it's, feel once it's there. So I think right now it's all the way tightened. I don't know, I'll have to see that in a second. Okay, I see it. So, right now, it's as loose as possible, and when you tighten it, the little screw part, you can see it's on the top, it's all the way up. When I tighten it down, it's going to go all the way down, so you can't see it anymore, and that's going to be tighter. So, you can definitely feel the um, difference. It's not like it's hard to push, like you're having difficult seconds to zoom out. No. 
But um, it is. It f I it feels a little bit better. Kind of like the Xbox 360 controller, which they kind of talked about in the um, in Xbox's official video of this controller. And you don't have to tighten it down all the way. It's not like either it's tight as possible or loose as possible. There is a setting in the middle, and I think maybe one in between both of those. I don't know. Okay, no, it's just two, it's three settings, so you can have it tight in between and then loose. Okay, next features on the controller: um, D-pad, same as the original Xbox One. Elite has the either I don't know. It's, this is more for like if you're playing Mortal Kombat or something where you're rocking your finger around it to move. And this is more if you're just using it as a regular D-pad buttons, stuff like that. This is what I normally use. So yeah, that's that. Um, ABXY is the same menu. Uh, let's look at the back on the paddles. So the paddles are a little bit shorter. I think I said that in the beginning. Um, so they don't stick out as much, which I really like. Because on the Xbox One Elite, kind of stuck out and I would accidentally press it sometimes. But with this, I think I can have a little bit more um, space to remove my hand and not accidentally push them. Also on the back, trigger stops. They have added a new, another setting. So on the last Elite controller, there would be either you can push it all the way down, like a regular con Xbox One controller, which I have here. Or uh, this next setting was in the middle right here, where it would just push down a bit halfway. And this third one that they've added is where it just barely pushes down. So it's like a button, which is really nice if you're trying to use it more, I don't know, um, as like a button instead of a trigger. So yeah, that's that, um, bottom headphone jack and Xbox One. This is the Xbox brand mic. You push it into the bottom and then it connects into this little slot right here. Um, also the charging dock, there's three little metal pins right here you can see right there. And then two slots for it to hold in when you put it in the case to charge. So that's all that on the back. On the top, we've got grips on the triggers. I just noticed that, that's, that's really nice. Actually, so it's not slippery. Well, I mean, the original wasn't slippery, but it's really nice to have grips right there. Not on the buttons, though. Still really cool. And then, of course, you got your sync button and USB-C port instead of micro USB, which is on the original and the Xbox One Elite. Um, regular X... Ooh! The Xbox Home button does not press in. It's just more of a button. Not, I mean, not more of a button, but it's more of a tab. You don't push it in all the way. That's cool. Oh, it just turned on. Wow. Did not mean to do that. Uh, while it's on, while it's on, talk about the three set, the three profile settings, which you can now set. So on the last one, you had two. There was a switch in the middle, switch it to one or two. Now there's three. So you press this profile to go to two. Press it again to go to three. Back to. This means it's just going to play like a regular Xbox controller. If you press it again, it'll go back to your first, second, and third like that. So it's really cool how they have the default because if you have a friend over that usually plays on a regular controller, pressing that will just take it back to the normal setting of a regular controller, other than custom settings. That's about it, there's an indicate, is that an indicator light? Right in the middle of the buttons, I'm not, have to read about that, see what that is for. Alright, so the little light in the middle is actually uh, the charging indicator light, so when you put it on, it's going to blink green, I actually have the instructions right here, I can show you guys. It's going to blink green, if it's charging, it's going to turn solid green, battery's fully charged if it's solid, blinking if it's charging, Right if it's low and no power to the controllers, there's going to be no light, obviously. So that's what that little light in the middle is for. Next, I'm going to talk about the charging. Plug it up, show you guys the um, new charging system they have. This is actually removable. This is a little charging block that magnetizes to the back of the controller like that. I don't know if it falls off. Yeah, it falls off pretty easily. So don't play with that on. Obviously, you can just use the port on the top instead of this. So if you don't want to charge it in the case when you're not using it, you can take this out plug it up normally and just put your control on this when you're done but I've, but if you do have it in the case then just do that have this plugged into the back of the controller and you're good to go so right, guys i'm going to go a little bit more in depth about the new thumbsticks um swap outs options stuff like that so with this new control i'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you guys on here um there's these new thumbsticks which are short sticks like normal sticks that have grips except they don't have grips it's just it's a little bit wider a little bit thinner as you guys can see and just a little bit smoother it looks like it feels 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 pretty soft I like I kind of like that feeling I don't know if I like it more than this but it's a little bit wider so if you have bigger thumbs or um tend to slip off a little bit I guess that's better for you so it comes with two of these I'm gonna put these to the side and then it comes with two other now what's different about these are it comes with one high grip stick just like 
on a normal Xbox controller, just but it accepts higher. And then it comes with a rigid, rippled, I don't know how to describe that, um, convex one. So it pops out of the top like a PS4 controller. And yeah, it comes with one of these and one high stick. Now on the original Xbox One of the controller, it came with two high sticks and two regular low ones. And it did not come with either the flat heads or the, um, or the rippled convex one. So yeah, that's about it for the thumbsticks. I'm going to go ahead and put these back in how they were. And then I'm going to talk about the new charging method. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, put the controller in here like that. I have a USB, female USB right here. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into, see which way this goes, up like that. I'm going to plug it to the back of the controller. Now, it's not, it's just a little hole in the back so you can reach the, um, the charging dock because the charging dock is removable so it's not like attached to the controller so i'm gonna to push this and here's that in it's kind of hard to feel oh it vibrated okay so it's gonna vibrate when you plug it in and is that flashing now you can see the little light is flashing white so it's flashing white right now when i take it off i think it should turn green no it's gonna stay Maybe, why was it green in the booklet, but it's white on here? Maybe that was just for, I don't know, where is that? So right here is red and green, but on here it's white. I don't know. Um, maybe just flashing white means charged. Full white is fully charged, and then if it's off, I don't know. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Um, when you're not using your cord, you can unplug it, wrap it back up how it was, and there is a little... Slot, slot right here for you to tuck it in. I don't know if that'll, yeah, that's not gonna fit well. Never, uh, maybe if you take your thumbsticks off, it'll fit better. Yeah, so if you take your thumbsticks off, it does fit better, but then you won't have maybe put your thumbsticks in there with it. I don't know, it's just a little bit cramped, and you wouldn't want to break them, mess anything up about it, and yeah. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions that I didn't answer in this um, video, make sure to comment down below, and I'll be sure to answer them as, um, as fast as possible and try to answer it my best to um, help you guys and upcoming I might do a video comparing the original one to I mean the original Xbox One Elite controller which I have right here to the new Series 2 which is you can see right now are kind of similar just a couple of different things so yeah stay tuned if you want to see that and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed please sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this or Xbox videos anything really and um yeah bye